I want to talk to you about uh, land use. And land use in a city is really important because uh, all cities in poor countries are so dynamic, they're growing. For example, in Africa, by 2050, we know that the urban population will be three times what it is now. So the typical African city of 2050, if we think of that, two thirds of it is as yet not there. Right? So we've got to plan that next two thirds. So how can you plan for the city fairly rapidly to expand from what it is to what it will be in 2050? And that's really about planning land use. Why should we plan it in advance rather than just let it happen? Because if you just let it happen, people come informally and settle on whatever land is not being used. And they do that one household at a time. And what you get, it's a sort of informal land grab of individual households just taking possession of individual bits of land. And that accumulates into a lot of people settling without any provision of things like roads, pipe water, sewage, all the things, the public goods that are vital. And if you try and retrofit that, once people are living all over the land, it's both very complicated politically because you have to move people and they don't like it. And it's very costly because you've got to try and fit the thing round where people are. From our evidence, <coughs> we find that if you try and retrofit, it costs about three times as much to put in the roads, the sewage, the water, the electricity, as if you put that in before people settle, so the people settle around the infrastructure rather than retrofitting the infrastructure around the people. You keep abreast of the inflow by doing the proper serviced infrastructure. All that is way, way more affordable than actually trying to build public housing for people.